Hello team, hello friends, hello travelers. This is Jorge from the Culture Caravan. And I'm really not sure where this conversation is going. I'm not a hundred percent sure of why I'm making this video other than I know I, I got to make this video and I know I want to make this video and what was happening just before I, I hit the record button is a huge fear that was happening inside of me about not knowing what to say and feeling my emotions so alive, my sadness and my fear right there next to me, present, and also my anger creating this distinction of wanting to communicate and choosing to communicate and knowing that there is a possibility for me to communicate something here. And I felt also the joy about the possibilities that could come out from going and jumping and speaking from this place of, of unknown. And what I am most aware of right now is the survival strategies that I've been living, uh, that I've been living with since I know and see for a long time. These are my survival strategies that have led me to create different relationships with people and relationships in which I'm not really being authentic. This is pattern that I'm recognizing and that I'm present with. It's a pattern that it came from my numbness, from being numb and from being very, very scared. And I was scared of not being able to provide for my family. I was scared of not having food. I was scared of not having a place to sleep or a place to be. I was scared of continuing being in isolation with the world. And this pattern, this fear, this unconscious fear and my survival strategy leading me to be compromising, compromising myself in ways that were hurting me and that were cutting me off from the abundance of life. They were cutting me off from, from resources, natural resources, and from love, from connection, from money, from work. And these are the, the patterns that are present right now for me and that I want to share that I have been in relationship with you if you're watching this video in which I have not been authentically myself. I have been a survival mechanism, a survival pattern that is not present, is not being there exactly what it is, is not being true to itself, but it's been a defense mechanism that instead of being in expansion, is in expansion, in in constant expansion, breathing in and out, and being fluid and and uh, and adapting to the necessities and being one, being being in in the world as a being of value. It was this thing that was a package thing. It was a package thing that sold itself, that, that presented itself in a package way and in a package way of being a, a solution maker, a solution man. I have the solution. I'm okay. I'm doing okay. I don't need anything. I got everything that I need.
and this this pattern cut me off from being in touch with my emotions and my feelings, especially my sadness and my fear. My sadness telling me how many assumptions I was making and and how I was just jumping through loops and jumping through from one assumption to the next just to to not acknowledge to not see that emotion to not to not acknowledge that that I was feeling sad from not having community that I was feeling sad from not having the resources that I needed for my family or the resources that I needed for myself and and doing every effort from this box and this survival strategy that didn't let, let any air in or out to, to present itself as a package thing that already knew it, that already knew it all and already it's been here and already knows how it goes. And in that, and in that way, making so many assumptions about myself and about my family and about others. Now I'm sorry I did this. It's my survival. It was it's my survival strategy of how I chose my decision that I decided I cannot show my sadness or I will be killed. I cannot be afraid or I will be perceived as weak. And I didn't want to show my fear. I wasn't able to show my fear. I was running away from my fear. And this, again, creating a whole lot of assumptions that got me into being in relationship with others from a place of unclarity and from a place of assumptions, from a place of unconscious agreements. And I feel the pain of this because it's, it's still something that I'm right in the middle of inside of my relating with my family, with my partner that I've been in relationship for more than 12 years, with my children, with the roommate that I'm living, that we're living here with, and with the other people that we've worked with, that we've been in relationship with, other people that have collaborated in the culture caravan and other communities that we have collaborated with. This has been my survival strategy, has been avoiding my feelings so that I don't get killed, so that I don't get perceived as weak, so that I don't so that I can get the, the things, the little things that, I, that I'm asking for. And this has made me go into relationship from a place of unconscious. I've been relating, creating unconscious agreements and essentially bringing in assumptions from modern culture assumptions from from school and assumptions from from my own culture into the relating with the people here i have i have I hide, my strategy of surviving is hiding, not showing up, sneaking out. My strategies for numbing myself was eating food, eating lots of food, oversleeping, smoking, and all of these strategies 
I was using to run away from my feelings, to run away from what I'm truly feeling. I was scared of being a man and crying and being sad. I was scared of being a man and being scared because I will be perceived as weak. I'll be perceived as less than and others will try to fix me and others would not like hear what I got to say. And this was my survival strategy. <laughs> I'm making space. I'm making space for feeling my feelings and feeling my emotions and having them as available resources for me right there to know what is happening inside of me and around me. My feelings and emotions are valuable to me and I'm making the space to feel them and to be there with them and to use them as resources for creating our next culture, for creating my life for creating a world for the children, a world for the elders, a world for the people. And inside of, inside of, going and feeling these emotions, there is no longer this place of, I know, I know how it's gonna go and I know where we're going. There is very little space for creating assumptions. I realized that I was using assumptions from the patriarchal game world, the patriarchal patriarchal empire, game world, the capitalism. I was using strategies and assumptions from that world to relate with the world around me. And in this way, I was perpetrating and continuing perpetrating that, that same pattern that is destroying all, all life in earth. And in coming, in coming to more responsibility about what I can do, in coming to more responsibility about my voice and my authority, I come to realize that I don't have to do that and that I don't want to keep doing that. I don't want to keep relating from that point of origin of the patriarchal game world, of modern culture, capitalists world this opens up space for all everything in my culture everything in my life all of my assumptions everything that i thought it was true to be questioned and for something new to emerge a new culture to emerge a new new agreements And this, this process is what is allowing that point of origin to shift from relating from a place of assumption 
of uh, school, of movies, or of modern culture of using each other, of compromising, of knowing what it feels like to be you, or what, knowing what it feels like to be me, or knowing how it's gonna go, knowing how things go, is creating the space for that point of origin to shift to a new place. A new place inside of myself where I have access to my feelings and where I have access to my being. and a place where I can distinguish what is me and what is modern culture assumptions, for example, or what is something, somebody else, somebody else's assumptions, somebody else's context, somebody else's point of origin. And from this place, I want to relay with you and I want to create a new foundation with you And I feel scared because I don't know how that is going to be received, how this is going to be received. And I feel scared because I don't know how that's going to go. I know that I want, I want clarity. And I want respect. And I want connection. I want to make our agreements and our communication clear and not go fast in a rush of speeding from one agreement to the next, from one assumption to the next, but to sit down and to really find that time to listen to you and find that time to, to hear what it is that you're saying, what are the needs of the space? What is the needs of the moment? What are the necessities? I feel scared of my survival strategies and all the survival strategies that I haven't seen yet. I feel scared of overcompromising. I feel scared of promising things that I cannot deliver. Thank you. Thank you for being there in my journey. And thank you if you've gotten this far in this message. I love you. And as I'm saying this, I'm seeing different faces come before my vision of people that I, uh, I've been in relation with. And I see your faces. And I thank you for what you have been there for me and how you have shown up there for me. I appreciate you and I value you. Thank you.